Hi everybody, uh, this is Joshua Young. So we're going to learn how to highlight, I'm going to write this down as I do it, highlight, copy, cut, well actually copy, paste, cut, and select all. Now the good news is, this is you're going to learn this for Mac and for PC, and uh, it's it doesn't matter if you're using email, if you're using Word, it doesn't matter what program you're using, uh, or if you're online on Google, highlighting, copying, pasting, cutting, and selecting all are the same thing no matter where you are and what you're doing. So today I'm going to use this program, Open Office Writer, and uh, it's actually free. So if you don't want to pay for Word, this works just the same way. I'm going to do a separate tutorial about that some other day. Um, but let's get into it. So there are two ways to do all of these things um, except for highlighting there's well all right there's a few ways to do everything and that's why it can get very confusing uh, for people now I'm gonna show you two the two most common ways this time I'm gonna show you the easiest and the kind of more advanced but to me it's just as easy way so first thing uh, we're gonna do is type a sentence so I love to walk dogs there you go. So that's my sentence. And let's say I want to take the word walk and I want to duplicate it and put it elsewhere as well. That's when you're going to use copying. If I wanted to put the word walk somewhere else entirely and take it away from the sentence, that's when you would be cutting it. So let's do a copy and a paste first. Um, but we're going, to we're going to learn how to highlight first. So to highlight, really easy. You just got to set your cursor up to the beginning or the end of whatever you want to highlight and you just simply click and hold down on your click button. If you're using a mouse, use your left mouse button, click and hold, so keep your finger or thumb down on that button and move your mouse or move your finger if you're using a trackpad to the right and then let go and you'll see that you've highlighted maybe the entire sentence, maybe a word. And to unhighlight, just click once, left click or tap once on your trackpad outside of uh, the word. And you can actually uh, hit it uh, inside the word and it'll deselect, is what we call it. Deselect the highlight. So let's say you want to just do the word walk. Left click in front of the word W and then move your mouse or your, tr or your finger along your trackpad to the right until all of the word walk is highlighted. Then just let go. And you can see that that's highlighted now. Now just go up to Edit and click on Copy. Now, if you're, if you're somewhere else, like using the internet or using Gmail, you may not have this option for copying. And I'll show you an alternative to that. Um, but for right now, we'll just do that menu. So you click Copy. You'll see that nothing's done because you haven't told your computer where to paste that word you just copied. So let's tell it where to go. I'm just going to click uh, after the period. I don't have to be very accurate. And I'm now, now that the cursor is there, I can tell it to paste it right there. So I go up to edit and I click once on paste. Boom. There's the word walk. It's that simple. Now let's say I want to cut the word walk out of this sentence. I'm just going to click and hold, move my mouse or trackpad, go up to edit and click cut. And now it says I love to dogs, which makes no sense. And let's say I want to paste it elsewhere. I just click after the period and I go up to edit and I go to paste. So in both copy and cut situations, in the end, you're going to be pasting the word. And this works on words, this works on sentences. So let's say I have another sentence. I love to dog, I love to walk dogs. There we go. And the next sentence will be um, on Mondays, I take my dog for a run. Now let's say I want this second sentence to be the first one. All I have to do is highlight this sentence, cut and paste it. And we're gonna see that. So you set your cursor up first, so I clicked so that it's um, to the left of the word I. 
So you click and you hold down on your left mouse button and you drag your mouse to the right or you move your finger along the trackpad to the right and then I'm going to even uh, highlight the empty space between the dot and the on. So on is at the very, very beginning of, of the uh, line. So that's all highlighted. Now just go up to edit. And since we're moving it entirely and we don't want to duplicate it, we're going to use cut. So click once on cut, and there you go. Now click at the end of the period for run. Go up to edit and click paste. There you go, you've just moved a sentence. And I see that I need to create a space here, so I've set my, my cursor up in front of the eye. Now I'm just going to press the space bar once, and you're good. Now I've created a space. And that's how you copy and paste and cut and paste and you highlight. Now let's say I want to select this entire thing, and I want to paste it. I want to copy and paste it. I, again, same situation. I just click and hold, move my mouse or finger along the trackpad. It's okay if it goes up or down. You, so long as you don't let go of your mouse, you are still in full control. So keep your, keep your finger down uh, on the left mouse key or your thumb down on the trackpad, whatever you're using, and you've still got total control. So you can see I can recover even if I'm like this. As long as I've got my finger down, I can still, I just move my mouse down and it automatically highlights that area. So I just move it to the right and it's done. And let's say edit and copy. And now I'm going to deselect so that's not still highlighted. You see my cursor is already set up where I want it to. Edit and paste. There we go. Now let's go into the quick keys. So instead of going up here all the time, uh, there's another way to do it. And you'll see the quick keys are right here. This is the symbol for the word command, which if you're on a Mac, it's right beside your space bar on the bottom left hand side. Uh, you won't have this option if you're on a PC. You'll be using control, which is also CTRL, and that's on the bottom left of your computer as well, your computer keyboard. So. This may seem complicated, it's really easy, and it's going to give you so much freedom. So, let's go back to two sentences. Don't worry on how I'm doing this. There we go. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, press and hold the command key or uh, the control, which is also known as CTRL key and then I'm going to press uh, either X which will cut things, co um, C which will copy things, P which will paste things. And so you see on the key on your keyboard there they're all lined up. It's X, C, or sorry V not P. Whoop, my bad. So you see that they're lined up side by side, X, C, and V. So cut, copy, paste. So it's very easy because they're all always side by side. This won't change no matter what computer you're on or anything, um, if you're speaking within the English world. So all you have to do is hold down your command key if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, hold down the control key, which may say control or may say CTRL, but keep your, thing, your finger or your thumb down on that button and then tap one of these letters, X or C. You wouldn't tap V right away because you haven't told the computer what to cut or copy. Uh, so V doesn't make sense because you're pasting nothing. You've told the computer to not paste anything yet. So let's copy something. Let's use these keys. So I'm gonna click to the beginning of run and I'm gonna hold down my trackpad uh, button or my left mouse key button and I'm going to move my finger to the right or my mouse to the right and then I'm going to let go. Now now I'm going to copy by holding down the command key and tapping the letter C or if I'm on PC holding down the control key which could also be CTRL and tapping C. So hold down your command tap the letter C and you won't see anything done but trust me it's copied now let's click to the end of the period, hold down your command or your control key again, and tap V for paste. And it's right there. Now if you're on a Mac, you won't be able to use the control key this way. Uh, you have to use the command key. 
And if you're on a PC, you won't see a command key. Uh, I don't think you'll just use the control key. And that's it. That's how you do it. The last thing I'll teach you is uh, highlighting. So we've already learned highlighting, but let's say you have an entire all of this. You want to copy all of this or cut all of this and put it into um, an email. In order to do that, you could go to the very top left, uh, click and hold on your left mouse key uh, or your trackpad and move your mouse down until you see everything highlighted and then let go. And then you could go up to edit and copy or hold down the command or control key and hit this and tap the letter C, then let go of your keys. You could do that. Or alternatively, just go up to edit and click on select all. And it automatically selects everything in the document. And you could also forget going up to edit and you could hit A for select all. So again, you can hold down your command key and tap the letter A and it selects, selects all. So if you're on a PC, you hold down the control key and you tap A. And if the highlighting doesn't work out, you, don't, you, you didn't highlight the right thing, just always just click once anywhere with your mouse or PC. And make sure if you're on a mouse, it's the left mouse key, not the right uh, button. The right button will bring up other menus, um, like this, for example. And if this ever does come up and you're like, what do I do, what do I do? Just click outside of it, left click outside of it once, and you're okay. And that's the process. Hope you enjoyed.